In this video, you'll learn how to access the grid view's appearance settings via the property grid or by using the grid controls designer. You'll change the styles for odd and even rows in the grid, then for grid cells in an individual column, and finally, you'll see how to change the appearance of themed elements, such as column headers. Each view type provides a set of appearance settings objects that specify how to paint its elements. To access the list, expand the view's appearance property in the properties window. Every sub property corresponds to a particular element and has the same type, which allows you to specify background and foreground colors, font style, and so on. You can also use the appearances page in the grid designer. This page lets you find style objects that apply to a particular grid element by selecting that element in a live grid preview. Let's specify grid row background color. Click a row in the preview section and change the corresponding appearance setting in the property grid. The preview section immediately reflects the changes. Now I'll change appearance settings for data cells in even rows and the changes aren't reflected by the preview. To enable this style, switch the Enable Appearance Even Row checkbox. You can preview the grid's data by switching to the Layout page and clicking the Preview Data button. Even and odd rows are painted using the specified colors. Let's return to the Appearance page and select the empty property in the list box. Fill the view's empty space with a linear gradient. The grid control allows you to specify appearance settings for data cells and headers of individual columns. Let's change the background color of data cells in the name column using the appearance cell property. Note that the column appearance settings have a higher priority than row appearance settings applied on the grid view level. Now let's specify the background and foreground colors and font settings for the header panel. The four color properties value and font settings are applied to all column headers while the background color is ignored. The reason for this is that column headers are themed elements painted according to the currently selected look and feel. To enable background color settings, you can change the view's paint style name property to flat. After that, you can also change the group panel's background color. And let's run the application to see the appearance customization results at runtime.